conservation of momentum? It states, in the absence of an external force, the momentum of a system remains unchanged. Let's say we have just two particles in our system, represented by the test tube on the left and the beaker on the right. The amount of coffee in the test tube represents the total amount of momentum in this system. Now, in the absence of any external influence on this system, if we just consider the system alone, the amount of momentum is always constant. It's conserved. Even if there's an interaction between the two objects in the system, for example, if they collide, the total amount of momentum remains the same. You might transfer momentum from object to object, but you're never creating any momentum, and you're never losing any total momentum. Now, note that the total momentum of the system can be distributed between the particles of the system in any sort of fashion. This particle might have all the momentum at a certain moment. Uh, it might be split between the two particles at another moment. Uh, the momentum might be all in this particle at a third moment. The point is that the total amount of momentum remains the same. Even if some of the momentum is in this particle, and this particle has the rest of the momentum, it's the total amount that remains constant. One final note. Remember that the law of conservation of momentum is true only in the absence of external forces. That means that if you have a particle external to your system, so let's say this is external to the system, and it interacts with the system in some way, then the momentum of the system can change. Now there's more momentum in the system than there was before. But that's only when you consider a particle external to your defined system. If I define my system now as all three particles, again, the total amount of momentum is conserved. The three particles now are part of the system, and so the total amount of momentum between the particles is the same as before. Say we define our system as the cannon and the cannonball. Then the total amount of the system will always be the same, in this case, zero. Initially, both the cannon and the cannonball are at rest. That's at the BAM, or right before the BAM, actually. So the momentum of each, when they are at rest, is zero. And therefore, the total momentum of the system is zero. Now, after the cannon fires, after the BAM, both the cannon and the cannonball do begin to move. But see that they are moving in opposite directions. The cannonball moves to the right, the cannon moves to the left. Therefore, their momenta cancel out, and they add up to, you guessed it, zero. The total momentum of the system, which consists of both the cannon and the cannonball, the total momentum of the system remains unchanged. Now, yes, the cannon does exert a force on the cannonball when it fires, and yes, the cannonball exerts a force back on the cannon according to Newton's third law. But these forces are both inside the system. They are not external to the system. And therefore, they do not add or subtract from the total momentum of the system. Got it? Get it? Good? Well, here are some more examples set to some great canon music. Great Law of Conservation of Momentum, brought to you by 
Isaac Newton, various other great physicists, and Tchaikovsky. Brother Matt's first law, coffee equals momentum.